five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to nut out the front suspension in this thing. Front spring, shockies, steering, and wishbones. So we're going to look at uh, splitting wishbones and how that works, um, and get this thing steering and bouncing. Righto, so the front end's back out. Um, that's your wishbone. Why is it called a wishbone? So when you split the wishbone, you get rid of this centerpiece. And I don't know if you've seen it on hot rods before. I'll show you a photo now. They get mounted on the chassis. This split generally happens when you're modifying your car and you don't have room for the original ball set up. So that's just the basic don't shoot me down. So I have a set of wishbones that are already split and they were off a, I think a 46 Ford. Um, let me go and find them. Righto, there's a split set there. They're bigger, they're off a bigger car, later car, heavier car. They're a lot stronger, which is a bonus for me. Um, for this build, the ball's been cut off, so it was very similar to this, had the same setup. <laughs> And you can buy these, you could probably make them if you had, or you can make them if you have the a lathe and the right tooling. But you can buy those little adapters that will just slot into the end. You weld them in, that's just tacked in at the moment. Then you get your good old tire at end. And that attaches to whatever you decide appropriate as far as attaching it to the chassis down the side. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. I do have some uh, mounts that weld on underneath the chassis but the problem is with this thing because of the the rake on the chassis and the depth of the chassis um, it might change my caster too much so it might have to go in through the chassis which isn't a big deal but we won't be welding anything onto these or any mounts to these until we work that out so we'll leave that for a bit later on now before I um, put this front end back in I wouldn't mind uh, mounting that steering column into that there hole. Righto, we'll just leave that sitting in there for now because that needs some massaging um, because we don't know where the cab's going to go yet so we've got to work that out in relation to the hole where it goes through. But it can wait because it's in there now and this stuff isn't going to get in my way. So let's get back into the front end. So I've had a little change of plans and I'm allowed to do that. Um, I'm no longer going to use the, let me zoom in, the lever type front shocks because i found that I have surplus um, later model front end bits and pieces and I'm going to put telescopic front shocks in this because I have surplus. I didn't realise, well I'd forgotten that I had extra. I bought a heap of stuff off a mate and um, I'd been collecting stuff anyway. So in this department I have double. So this is going to be upgraded. It's going to work out better. It's going to look better just as easy to install and I'm going to be happier with the results so let's go ahead and do that Hello? So I've covered reverse springs before in earlier videos a while back but really it's really really easy especially on something with this kind of rake or angle. Honestly you pull the spring pack apart, you turn the spring upside down, you put the spring pack together. That's how I reverse that spring. Um, what I'm going to do with this spring I just need to put some extra leaves in it because there's no way that's enough leaves to hold all that up in the front of that car. Just too much weight. So. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. It'll just be with the G-clamp, loosen that bolt, put the new springs in, longer bolt, take the G-clamp off. Happy days. I 
made some new G clamps. This one's cactus. Now we can slide this under the front. Let's go. It's the next day. Batcher went flat yesterday, so I um, I just kept on doing a little bit. Let's push this thing back, and we'll show you where we're up to. So, front springs in. I actually put a new spring that I had um, spare. So, new front spring. It just holds it up better, clears the frame properly. Um, bottom shock mounts are on. Um, well, they're just sitting there. Steering arm is pushed in there it's not tightened up yet but that's our cross steer so it's going to connect to our steering box over here um, I have some shock mounts which I'm going to cut up because I don't really like them I'm going to cut the welds off and just weld this directly to the chassis and they're going to go there to hold our shocks and I'll probably make a mount for the headlights because I'm thinking about going fenderless the more I look at it the more I'm liking it without the fenders that as most things I might change my mind but we'll see how we go I also chuck my steering wheel on just to check for clearance it's a 46 one that I had on one of my early Model A's there for a while but it's gonna work just fine plenty of room considering it's a Model A cab there's plenty of room so I think um, to finish off this video we're gonna get the caster set by drilling into stuff everywhere into the chassis it's got to come up to here we're going to drill into there and we'll um, taper I've got a, a um, tapering tool we'll taper it and we'll bolt it in to the chassis and we'll get our caster set at about six degrees Bones. So we've got the front in and dialed pretty much, it's adjustable. This is still mock up. We're going to get everything together and then we're going to blow it all apart so we can paint everything. But I'm really happy with how that's coming along. Probably sitting higher than I'd like it to sit, but 
we're going traditional and we want to keep it um, kind of stockish if we can kinda um, I've had a couple of ideas on the tub I've decided not to raise it up that extra um, three or four inches because the thing's high enough as it is so we'll keep it down maybe you just can see um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to extend the chassis with these um, let me just watch my dog how you going buddy um, sun's in a bad spot as usual but I'm going to weld them, that into there maybe you can see and then bring the chassis out with these and that can um, hold the back of the tub on and kind of extend the chassis a little bit back to where it probably should be without the extra weight and without the extra height so there you go it's hot rotting I love it a doctor once told me Paul you got to do the things that make you happy this stuff makes me happy when things go smooth there can be some stressful moments but it's making me happy right now but anyway that's it from me for this one um, next time we're here we'll probably tackle that tray we'll finish doing the chassis work on the back there um, and I need to find a connector for that steering so we can actually steer it and when that's sorted out I'm going to drag it outside and probably drag it out the front and get a proper couple of photos of it I've got to order a radiator I might do that this week um, but stay tuned be good to your mates like subscribe all that stuff and I'll see you on the next one cheers